Welcome, I'm from the music POCO F3 and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. And to get started, pull down the notification panel and look for the hotspot toggle, which for me is on the second page right over here. Once you find it, hold the toggle. This will take you to the, well, I would say settings, but it takes us a step back. So you want to tap on the setup portable hotspot and now we are in the settings. So from here, uh, let's start off by changing the password. As you can see by default, it will just set some completely abhorrent garbage um, of a password. So not very easy to remember and also most certainly not easy to give to someone else when they're trying to connect to your hotspot. So we can remove this one and set our own. Now it does need to have at least eight characters as you can see right here. So I'm gonna make mine super complicated. There we go. Um, it's 100% secure. Uh, and from here, you can also change the SSID, which is going to be the name of the Wi-Fi. Uh, by default, it's always going to be the name of the device. So as you can see, POCO F3 in this case. Then below that, uh, we have a couple additional settings. So we have uh, security, I'll to keep it as it is, uh, along with device information. Uh, but the important part right here is the uh, AP band. So as you can see, we have choice between two different ones. We have the 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. Now, if you're not sure which one to pick, uh, I would recommend you to stick with the 5 gigahertz and try to connect to it. If, uh, if you try, and as an example, basically what happens if your device doesn't support 5 gigahertz uh, and you look for it, you simply won't find any kind of network name uh, or network by this name. And if that is the case, if you enabled your portable hotspot uh, with the 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi and you just don't see it, then all you need to do is go back here and change it to 2.4. Uh, now, I'll also explain why I recommend you to go for the 5 gigahertz uh, over the 2.4. Uh, 2.4 might be used by virtually every device uh, that has access to internet, um, but it is already a little bit of a dated uh, signal, so it is going to be slower less stable compared to the 5 gigahertz which will have a much stronger signal uh, along with just a faster speed of internet that can send so that's why i would recommend you to try the 5 gigahertz at least and see if your device supports it or not and last option is the hide ssid i strongly recommend against that it's just going to make connecting to uh, the hotspot a little bit more annoying because if you choose to hide it what you do is once you turn on your hotspot, you need to know exact the exact name of the uh, hotspot or the Wi-Fi that you're looking for. So in this case, it's a POCO F3 and also the password. Uh, it will not show up in the list otherwise. So anyway, let's turn that off and let's tap on the check mark to save the settings. And now all we need to do is find the toggle once more and simply tap on it to turn it on. And that's it. Now, once you set it up once, you don't need to go back to it as long as you remember uh, the password. So all you will need to do now from now on is just toggle it on and off. And that's about it. Now, once you do toggle it on, as you can see, there is a little uh, notification panel right here telling you that it is active right now. That is so you are aware that it is enabled because with it being on, uh, your battery will be drained a little bit quicker and your mobile data might also be uh, drained a little bit quicker than normally. So once you're done with it, I do recommend you to toggle it off. So that is how you could set it up and use the hotspot. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.